intended receiver there, one of the big three wideouts with his Roadrunners team. Here comes McCormick, right up the middle. Can't be stopped. No one's going to get him. Touchdown, UTSA. Sincere McCormick, a 75-yard touchdown run. Snap, spot, kick. And good, and good by plenty. Wow. Coached high school football in Texas for 15 years, and he's recruiting a lot of those players around the San Antonio area. Here's another big run for Sincere McCormick. He has hardly been stopped yet tonight. That's a first down. Tyson Wilson, the free safety, able to bring him down for UTEP. And this UTEP defense has been good stopping the run this year. They're just having a hard time so far tonight. Yeah, they said, we, we want to lock this guy up. He's done a great job in a short amount of time here for this program. Frank Harris complete to Zachary Franklin, who hasn't been completely healthy the last few weeks. Duplessis comes out for a 41-yard attempt after hitting a career-long 51-yarder on the last series. It would have been good from 60, and another boomer right between the uprights. Hardison again, hands off. Nobody to stop the running back into plus territory. On the near side, it's Ronald Awad. UTEP 0 for 2 on third down. Pressure from the edge. Hardison avoids the rush. Throws on the run. Wide open man in the end zone. Touchdown. What a throw. Tyron Smith left all alone. And Hardison found him. UTSA just kind of lets the guy go because, oh, he's just scrambling. He won't be able to make this throw on the run. But guess what? Wham! Just launches that ball down the field. Three receivers to the right. Harris. Quick release, gets it to Franklin. That's a first down out across the 40-yard line. Zakari Franklin. They go back to the ground game and another gaping hole up the middle for McCormick. This old line, Rocky, most experienced in Conference USA earlier in the quarter. This is from 33. And he stays perfect. Gavin Hardison has completed just one pass tonight. That was the touchdown throw to Tyron Smith. He'll throw here. Another completion, this one to Cowing. Jacob Cowing, their big play wide out, and a much-needed first down out close to midfield. Now Cowing to the top of the screen. They'll mm. run, and a big collision in the backfield. That was Deion Hankins. Taking a hit from Denzel Feaster, the Kansas transfer. Main numbers on this team. I'm going to go to the air. And it's almost intercepted. Should have been. Hardison threw it right into the arms of Antonio Parks. 13 of 17 this year, along of 44. Very steady kicker. And it's no good. Pushed it to the right. McCormick gets a run of six yards on first down. Now Harris throws a little bit underneath and almost intercepted. Take this ball away from this powerful roadrunner offense. The southpaw, Harris complete to McCormick out of the backfield. Also a very good receiver. Picks up the first down easily. Hang on to win it 20 to 14. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Boy, this UTEP defense, Rocky, is keeping the Miners in it. Is Third and seven, Harris has a man. It's to Corey and Clark. Can't stay on his feet, but he rumbles to the 10. Big strike, Harris to Clark. That's a gain of 48. To Corey and Clark, straight line speed. Harris was going there all the way, gets behind. The corner back there. Harris does a good job putting the ball in the money. Here's McCormick bouncing to the outside and almost sniffed out the end zone. He's pulled down by Hayward, about a yard and a half short. Fourth down. Harris is going to keep it himself. Touchdown. Looked a little. 
good running around out there, throwing the ball, and he's played very well tonight. I thought he's made great decisions, too. Got nicked up in that game against Louisiana Tech. It helped that they're coming off by it, some extra time to get ready for this one. Stopped short of the 20-yard line, the return man, Dennis Barnes. This is Deion Hankins. Good run, close to the 40-yard line for Hankins. Hankins in the backfield, play-action pass. Here's Hardison. Look at this arm. Wow, what a throw. Incomplete. Batted away at the last second by Antonio Parks. And it's Acho Mine, the great segment where we go beyond the box score. All coming up when you join us guys at the half. All right, fellas, we'll see in a little bit. Sakari Franklin, a big reception, a gain of 19. Just kind of almost acts as a natural pick for the linebacker who had McCormick in the flat, and it picks up the first down. Now down the middle. Big play for Franklin. And now they're in field goal range for Duplessis. Sakari Franklin brought down by Tyson Wilson. Play number nine of the drive. Harris already has a rushing touchdown tonight. Looking to throw. There's the slant again, and it's Zakari Franklin. Touchdown, UTSA. Defense trying not to give up something cheap here late. Hardison throws. Man makes the catch down the seam. That's Cowing. Inside the 35, down to the 32. Timeout. Four seconds to go. This will be out of the hold of Calvin Brownholtz, the backup quarterback. Good looking kick. So he redeems himself just ahead of halftime. Gavin Hardison, only four completions in the first half, but he's on target here on his first throw to Cowan. Jacob Cowing into plus territory. To the 45-yard line, that's a gain of 30. Four of eight tonight. Trying to convert and keep this drive alive. Pressure coming up the backside. Hardison got rid of it in time. That's going to be a catch and a first down to Awat. But flags come in toward the end of the play. Hardison rolling to his right. Throw to the end zone incomplete. Well covered. Intended for Cowing. But Ken Robinson had him blanketed. So their eyes are able to be in the backfield on the quarterback, and they know the ball's going to number six. Let's find him and come up and make a big play. Good job, UTSA. So here it is, second down and ten. Harris rolling into his throwing hand, and that is caught. Caught around the 25-yard line. What a catch by Joshua Cephas. He's got a seven-foot high jump yeah. record in high school. He used his ability Antonio. to know he was attending to the birth of his daughter. This is thrown down the field and complete to Oscar Cardenas, the tight end. Their top pass-catching tight end. And they're back in plus territory, a gain of 24 to the 47-yard line. We are just talking about Harris. How about this throw? Rolling off, kind of falling back and he hits the back shoulder throw to the tight end inside their own five yard line from the 26 Harris slides up man open caught inside the 10 it is sharp again Gavin Sharp has not been used much in the passing game so far this year couple of catches on this drive that's a gain of 18 it's the second time it's been that drag route from across the other side of the field he's just getting across the defense and finding a little hole there Second down. Harris, play fake, throws. That is caught. Touchdown, Sakari Franklin. Guess what? Another slant route. And I, I can't believe it. I just can't believe you don't take away the inside route there. Again, Franklin did it right before half, and he does it there again. Cruding says, I haven't changed my cell phone number in about 25 years, so if they got a player that got the number to call. Jacob Cowing on the receiver screen rips one off for a first down. Out to the 40-yard line, a 19-yard pickup for Cowing. He's a little slow to get up for UTEP, but he does. Look much different with all the action and the upsets here. 
has happened on, on Saturday. Tyron Smith had the touchdown in the first half. Great run after the catch. He's got his second touchdown. The sophomore from Cibolo, Texas, Tyron Smith, against his hometown team with his second touchdown. It's another team that'll fall out, you would think. There's Frank Harris. What a night for him. He keeps and he is dragged down inside the 45 yard line of Utah. He's had an injury plagued career. A couple of ACLs. He's had a shoulder injury that knocked him out of the season earlier in his career. And now he'll run for a first down and much more. All the way down to the 17 yard line. Frank Harris, a gain of 25 on that play. Again, taking that play clock down. Harris going to keep it again. It's a foot race to the corner. He got a touchdown. Frank Harris, the longest three-yard touchdown run you'll ever see, but he is hard to catch. And again, we didn't think he might play tonight. Yeah, he has looked outstanding. Impressive speed. I mean, there were four orange jerseys. A couple of them even had the angle on him. He just flat out ran him. And look at this right there. I'm turn on the Jets kill themselves in penalties, not the Roadrunners. They've taken nine tonight, though, even though it's going to be a lopsided victory. Their and offense is the play action pass. Wasn't able to get going. Hardison, slant rob, caught, touchdown, Garrett. We looked at each other and said, he's playing. And he's been spectacular tonight. We'll play fake. Tunnel screen for the receiver. And that's a catch for Joshua Cephas. Gain of 16. Keeper for Harris, first down, and he'll get down. And smartly stays inbounds. Based on what we just told you. He'll hand off, big run right up the middle for Daniels. You don't want to miss Sunday NFL countdown, 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN. Good win on the road. Their fifth road win, 44-23. They put up 562 yards of total offense in Jeff Trailer, and the UTSA Roadrunners are a pretty good-looking tennis team. It was a statement win tonight. <laughs> it felt like they were a little bit snubbed. They came out, and I think they took their frustrations out on UTEP, who was a pretty good football team coming in.